This tutorial was referenced from photoshoptutorials.ws. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you a retro pop art effect. Uh, first thing you need to get started is you need to select your image. I've got an image here of my wee sister. Um, and I'll just show you what we're trying to achieve. So here is our uh, pop art effect. Uh, now, to get started, the very first step that we want to do is we want to go and duplicate, so right click and duplicate the layer. You can also use Control J to do that. Uh, what we're going to do is go up and change the blending mode of the new layer to luminosity. And with the top layer selected, we're also going to go to uh, go up to images and adjustments, and then invert the image, which you could also use Control I to do that. We're going to reduce our opacity to about 50%. Now we're going to go back to the original background layer and we will duplicate the original layer again. So uh, right click and duplicate or Control J. Uh, move the new layer to the top and change the blending mode to multiply. With the top layer selected, we'll open the threshold uh, tool, so just images adjustments and threshold. In the threshold tool uh, you can use the input slider to drag left and right to adjust this effect. Um, the default value is 128 so if you're happy with that you can just click OK and leave it there. Um, I'm gonna bring it down a bit more and bring some colors for it and remove the blacks. Um, somewhere around there looks okay. Finally, we're going to increase the saturation of the middle layer. So we'll just select the middle layer and to access the hue saturation tool, we just go up to images, adjustments and hue saturation or control U, or you can just select it off the side menu here. So uh, we'll just click that. Now we'll drag the saturation input uh, all the way up. Um, now that's a little bright, so we'll bring it back a little bit. Uh, somewhere around there will do. And um, we'll also play with the lightness just so it's not so harsh. We'll try and soften a little bit. Yep. So, and that looks pretty good. So that is done. That's our pop, pop art effect. Now you can save that and you could go through and do a series of different ones by uh, adjusting the hue. So you can just slide it uh, backwards and forwards. You could save one here, you've got a red one, a purple one, and a green one, and put them all together for an Andy Warlow style pop art effect. I've got one here that I created earlier, which I'll show you, like this. And that is us done. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I will see you next time. Cheers.